Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today, in this presentation, we will learn worst, average, and best case analysis of algorithms. So, worst case analysis. In the worst case analysis, we calculate the upper bound on running time of an algorithm. We must know that the case that causes maximum number of operations to be executed for linear search. The worst case happens when element to be searched is not present in the array. When x is not present, the search function compares it with all the elements of array one by one. Therefore, the worst case time complexity of linear search would be O n, where n is the number of elements. So this is the code for linear search algorithm. So here, if we will search for 1, then it will give the results quickly. But if we search for 222, it will take more time because it will go to each element one by one. Average case analysis. In average case analysis, we must take all possible inputs and calculate computing time for all the inputs. Sum of all the calculated values and then we divide the sum by total number of inputs. We must know the distribution of cases for the linear search problem. Let us assume that all the cases are uniformly distributed, including the case of x not being present in the array. So we sum all the cases and divide the sum by n plus 1. So as we drop all the constant values and the complexity will depend only on the highest power of n so the answer would be big O of n. Best case analysis. In the best case analysis, we calculate the lower bound on running type of an algorithm. We must know the case that causes minimum number of operations to be executed. In linear search problem, the best case occurs when x is present at the first location. The number of operations in the best case is constant, not dependent on n so the time complexity in best case would be big O of 1. So here, 1 will be easier to search and will take less time than searching 222. Which one to use? Most of the time, we do worst case analysis to analyze algorithms. In the worst analysis, we guarantee an upper bound on the running time of an alg algorithm, which is a good information. The average case analysis is not easy to do because in most of the practical cases, it is not feasible to know and predict each and every possible case in the mathematical distribution of all a possible inputs. The best case analysis is bogus. Guaranteeing a lower bound on algorithm does not provide any information as in the worst case. An algorithm may take years to run. So some algorithms like merge sort always remain constant with n log n complexity whether it's best case, worst case or average case analysis. While some like quick sort have worst case analysis when the array is already sorted and best case analysis when the array is divided in between. That's all for this presentation. Thanks for watching.